Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to host a Brickhill game. So if you say uh, have a Brickhill set you made and now you want to host it, this is the tutorial for you. So first of all, you want to go to the download tab and click on Node Hill. There you want to install Node.js if you don't have it already and the node hill template so save file add node hill windows installer or whatever device you have okay so once we've downloaded the template we're gonna open it and edit start.js with notepad in the start.js file there are a bunch of configurations we need to do before we can host the game so I'll go through them one by one. The game ID is the ID of the set you want to host your game on. For example, I want to host this, my game on this set, Drip Hill. It has the ID of 36084. So we're gonna copy it and paste it over here in the game ID. Now the port we're gonna get to later. Local, if you want to test your game, you set this to true. Map, this is the location of your BRK file. So, for example, I have my BRK file over here, map.brk, I'm gonna cut it. You can put this in the maps folder, and you can just dump it over here, in which case I'm gonna change the location and the name here now compared to the file it's in the same folder and its name is map.brk now the scripts this is just uh, where your scripts are this is the scripts folder i'm not gonna put any scripts so this is irrelevant so now we've gotten to the part where we're gonna need to port forward so open the command prompt cmd.txe and type ipconfig. You're gonna be greeted with a long list of information. You're gonna want to scroll down to the default gateway and copy it and go to your browser and put it in the URL. URL this will take you to your router's configuration page. Once you're there, it's gonna ask you for a username and a password. The username is almost always admin, so you can go ahead and type that in. The password is usually a bunch of letters and numbers written on your router, like physically on your router. So you can pause the video and go look for the password on the router. If that doesn't work, the password may be admin or password. And if those also don't work, contact your internet provider and ask them for your password. Once you're in, you're gonna wanna find your way into the port forwarding page. Now, every router has a different interface and different locations. So I can't really tell you where to look. In some cases, the port forwarding is replaced by port triggering in the router. Port forwarding and port triggering are a bit different, but I'm not going to get into it. Now, when you get to the port forwarding page, you will see a bunch of configuration boxes. I'll get through them one by one. First off is the name, it's a, a name, it doesn't really matter, you can put whatever you want in it. Second off is the protocol. When you click on the protocol, you can select between TCP, UDP or both. Select both. Next off is the port range, which is two boxes. Now, the port range must be the same number as the port in the start.js file. 
So if in the start.js file the port is 42480, set the port range boxes to 42480 as well. Next off is the IP address. For this box, go back to the command prompt and this time copy the IPv4 address and paste it in the box. Alright, so we're almost there. Now the last thing we need to do before we can host the game is to click on the address bar, type cmd. This will open the command prompt at the template's location. Now, you're gonna want to run this line npm i node hill at latest. This will run for a few moments and then you can close it and click launch server and it seems the server is running successfully. Alright, so let's check if it works.